Hi, Floss Tube friends. How are you? I'm so glad to see you. I've missed you. Oh, this is a good thing. Okay, today is Wednesday, July 13th. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Daylene, and this is my channel where I talk about cross stitch and quilting and sewing and stitching and crafts and my grandbabies and my dog and my garden and food. <laughs> Always food and of course what I'm grateful for. Uh, thanks a lot for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I've missed you. I'm so glad we're here today. Yay, let's get started. Okay, come on in, come on in. I have treats. I have beautiful, delicious, moist oatmeal blueberry bars. You can make them dairy-free, gluten-free, blah, 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 all those things. Okay, so they're so moist and delicious and they have a secret ingredient. Okay, so we have the, the oatmeal on the bottom, the filling, and then the oatmeal uh, on the top. Okay, but in the, in the filling that's sugar-free, I add spinach. You can't tell the grandbabies. You can't tell the kids. You can't tell the husbands. Okay, I've been making these for about 11 years, and not one person has guessed the secret ingredient. So, anyway they're delicious they're so good the blueberries you can add fresh blueberries into the the preserves is what i usually do um it's such a strong flavor the blueberry the goodness that deep rich flavor that you don't even taste the spinach so it's a really good way to to get in some more vegetables and offer seconds on dessert so <laughs> come on in i have coffee cappuccino tea we can sit we can sit out in the the uh pergola and chat and talk and talk about cross stitch and or whatever we want to talk about so um oh the quilt behind me okay that quilt is called a grand old flag okay i was at the library a few weeks ago with my husband mr wright and we walked in and in the atrium there were all these quilts hanging um patriotic and he said hey i like that one and i thought okay so i went home i downloaded the free pattern by pat sloan free and I came in my sewing room and all of those are scraps that I had all different scraps I had some of them I had to piece together um, anyway put it all together and then um, my really sweet friend Kim uh, the stay-at-home quilter she was supposed to just stitch it in the ditch you know just follow the lines nothing fancy holy Toledo she has all sorts of beautiful stitching cross hatching on the fields of blue it is gorgeous it was supposed to just be a fun quick throw it on the sofa hang it out on the porch for a holiday and it turned into something really amazing um she's a she's a great great person i'm so lucky that i met her through uh floss too she's kind uh she's got a funny sense of humor she has a little girl named raya she's uh i think she's seven and um anyway she's just she's dreamy we we have matching birthdays that's the dreamy part but uh she's kind and she always um has something really positive to say and a really good listener it's just she's just one of the good ones but anyway she did the quilting the machine quilting uh sent it back and then i just put the the binding on yep put the binding on it's striped with stars and um put a uh, i sewed a sleeve on the back and so that we could hang it out on the porch maybe for fourth of july or what have you um anyway that's a good one. That's a really good one. It's fun. It used up a lot of uh, stash that I had, a lot of scraps, things I didn't know what I was going to do with. Um, and so it made me really happy. It makes me happy. So anyway, there you go. Okay, we got, we got the call. We got the call. Some of the people in our group, uh, we got a great group. This, this community is so good. So we need some prayers for my niece, Jennifer, for our friend, Jackie. Um, Annabella Stitches, we need prayers for Stacy 911 Stitchers, her arms in a cast, she can't cross stitch, we need to pray for her. Um, ooh, and we need to say good prayers, good wishes, happy birthday to, uh, my friend Catherine, Stitching in Costume, and happy birthday to Kim, the con contented stitcher. So, uh, don't forget to lift their names up and, uh, send some good wishes their way. There's over 3,000 of us just on this channel alone. Think how much goodness that is. That's that's good uh okay speaking of speaking of goodness thank you so so much for my birthday wishes and birthday cards look at all these cards that i got i'm not going to read each one of them to you anyway 
so thoughtful. Every, not, nobody just signed their name. Love Aunt Sue. They all had something really sweet and kind and considerate to say. And to be honest, I reread them. And a couple days when I've kind of been eh, with the news or what's going on, I just reread. They're uplifting. They're positive. If, if you need something to do to change the world, send a card. Be, I mean, it is great. It makes you feel really, really good. So anyway, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate all the good wishes and thoughts. And then let's talk about cake. So I kept a little notebook. Um, and, and I know that some people didn't tell me, but 37 that I know of um, birthday cakes uh, the, the boxes that we made with cake, sprinkles, balloons, candles, napkins, frosting um, that we donated to the food bank. So we donated 37 birthday cakes, plus more that people didn't tell me about. Think how many people we made happy. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so not just the birthday person. You know, cute little four-year-old girl or a seven-year-old little boy that wanted to stick his finger in the frosting. Uh, but all those families, all those friends that got to sit around, have a piece of cake, and celebrate the person. And for a moment in time, forget everything else and just be happy. And just be really happy for the birthday person and wish them good wishes. Um, so thank you so much for joining me in donating cakes. Um, our little kits. The Gosh, when I went to the food bank, the lady was more than grateful and so happy and thought it was a clever idea and, you know, on and on. So it made me feel really good. So everybody that wrote to me, they said they felt really good about doing it. So thanks so much. And, ooh, I promise we'll do it again next year. So that's a good thing. Thank you. Thank you so much. It really turned out great. It's way more than I can do at one time. So it was really nice that it went all around the, the country. Okay, before I get started with um, my stitching, I want to talk to you a little bit about gardening. Okay, so remember last year, I told you, I broke this off this morning. Okay, so let's put this piece of paper in back of it so you can see. Okay, that little piece right in the crook of those two branches. Okay, so that is called a sucker on your tomato plant. So you take that off then this is your tomato plant, which grows a lot stronger. Don't throw this away. Okay, so I take them and I just plop them in the dirt. But other people put them in water to get some roots going. Either way is perfect. And I save these containers. You know, these containers you get, like if you buy um, something at the beginning of the season, they're just the plastic things that, you know, you, the uh four inch I think that's a four inch pot anyway okay so I just fill those with dirt when I'm doing all my containers so I had 10 or 12 sitting there and then when I get a little sucker that's oh I put it right there on my shirt so you can see um you know big enough I, it, I usually wait till it's about twice that big I plant it in these containers and then I just keep watering it with everything else and once it gets about this big so that's as big as my head <laughs> um then I plant it in the garden or you can give it away. But right now, I have eight new free tomato plants. So this was free because this was just the garbage that one of the one of my plants came in. And then this is a free tomato plant because I picked off that sucker off of a, a shoot of my own tomatoes. And then this, I heard this lady talking about it on YouTube, and she said every free tomato plant that she plants, she plants them all in her garden, all of those tomatoes she gives away. Brilliant idea. Isn't that great? Okay, so all the neighbors are getting tomatoes and basil, all of those good things. Uh, times are tight. Ex groceries are expensive. Uh, oh, I'll tell you, I, I had this idea. There's a new gal across the street, four kids under the age of five. Yikes. Um, kind of has her hands full. Anyway, she walks by every day. I say hello. I say hi to the kids, all that. But I went over this week and I took her a dozen fresh eggs and I just said, hey, I always say hi to you, but you know, haven't met formally. And so I thought I'd bring you some eggs. You would have thought I brought her gold. She was like, for me, for free. Thank you so much. I said, well, just bring the kids over. They can come and see my chickens and uh, we could talk in the backyard. Nothing, nothing formal, just casual. Kids can run around. It's okay. 
and she said thank you so much groceries are so expensive and I just got this funny little feeling like oh yeah you know when I was just first married with little kids and it was tight it's pretty tight out there so I thought hey when my tomatoes start producing guess who's gonna get a basket of tomatoes and some uh, cucumbers and, and basil and green beans um, I I just think it's a great idea uh, when I turned to leave and said chat soon talk to you next time um, she said do you sell those and I said no I give them away to the neighborhood it makes the neighborhood better and she said oh I guess it does so join me get, plant those little freebies anything you can plant for free or if a bird drops a little seed um those volunteers we got to give that stuff away and you know i plant a big garden so i can give a lot of stuff away so that's a that's kind of a nice thing so anyway and i have one more thing about my garden okay it's not a commercial <laughs> And I only have it in this plastic because this is orange oil and I do not want oil anywhere in my um, sewing room. However, I would lick the end. I, I, I don't want to drink it. It's pretty bitter, but I am so pleased. It's called Orange Guard. Totally natural. I do all my garden organic. Everything's natural. You know, like on a walkway where there's a lot of um, little weeds or whatever. I use 30% vinegar. A little bit of dish soap so that it sticks to the the um, weeds tomorrow the sunshine has killed all of them so um yeah it's the roundup thing is not a good idea that that's a carcinogenic we don't need that 80 percent of the united states of america people have that in their urine that's not good we don't need roundup when you can use products like this and actually to be honest with you sometimes I kind of now I kind of want to edit that out, but I don't know how to edit. So let's just pretend I didn't say all that. I got a little carried away. Sorry. Uh, a lot of times, sorry, but the natural organic bug killer things, little teeny aphid killers, all that, they don't really work. They're nice. They smell good, but they don't really work. This is the first one that I have found that actually works. So those little aphids that get onto the backs of your leaves, you know, I plant a lot of flowers in my garden so that the the bees come and pollinate all my uh, tomatoes and everything. But anyway, this is, I, you can get it at like Ace Hardware or those big box stores or Amazon or you, you can get it anywhere. So um, I think, it, oh, I can't remember. I think it's like $15. Yeah. Anyway, um, I've just used it a few times and it's really worked well I, i'm not a big i don't i don't mind if there's ants or things in my garden but i mean some people might li not like that or you might not like that on your patio or something and this works it really works it's a good thing okay okay sorry we could talk about stitching how far oh, we're 13 minutes in and i haven't even showed you any stitching okay sorry let's talk stitching uh how about some previous finishes look look at this little pillow i made eagle a little stitching on it here and then i just used one of my husband's uh old tags put some of his pins put one of his army buttons on there kind of a fun way to keep track of some of that stuff like a little memento it's kind of a cute little thing okay i got this one land that i love did this one i have no nothing on the back so i don't know i think it was it was last year oh i put my little grandson's initials hw America, land, uh, United States of America, land that I love. Kind of a neat one. I like that one. That's a good one. I'm trying to find a place to put this. Sorry. Oh. Okay, uh, this one, everybody always asks about it. Okay, America the Beautiful. Oh, she was pretty. One. That was a good one. Uh, I did this in June 2022, 30 tail count linen, and this is a blackbird pattern see my husband's initials on there that I put I always have this one out I don't I don't even put it away I mean I keep it out it goes in his office but um I keep it out I put it out you know for fourth of July and flag day and all that but you know I can't put it away I don't want to put it away I'm enjoying it okay I got some finishes for you I have a couple that are um one this is Liberty House Look at this one. This was a fun one. This is Brenda Gervais. Uh, I, is it called Liberty House? Yes, it is. Liberty House. 36 count linen. 
And this one, I changed the initial color for the B and the W for my husband in 1975. That was the year that he joined the United States Army. <laughs> so I thought, oh, that would be a good way to kind of commemorate it. Good gravy. I've tried to find a couple frames and nothing has really, hmm, nothing's really grabbed me. The picture shows on the pattern like a really dark espresso brown. And, and, you know, I mean, I might go with that one, but I just, nothing has said, that's it. That's the, bat, that's the frame. So I'm still looking for a frame for that one. Okay. Uh, oh, I finished another thing. Let me put that down. Oh, you know what else I finished? I finished a couple of presents. This pattern Red, round red sampler. Now I have this feeling that it, the picture is going to be backwards. Oh, well. Um, I bought these little jello molds at like a, a antique shop with my girlfriend. They were a dollar. And I stitched this and then I put it in this bowl. And I changed the initials of the person I stitched it for. Holy Toledo. It went together really fast. It was super easy. And it turned out so dang cute. Super happy super happy with that one and another pattern I did um, oh that one was by heart and hand what's it called round red sampler and this one is by scattered seed samplers um, I stitched this one for a friend and I liked it because you can uh, personalize it with their birthday and then there's a little spot right here for initials I mean you could make it for yourself but I have a couple friends who are um, knitters as well as cross stitchers. So I thought this would be just perfect. Just a perfect, perfect gift. It turned out really cute. Mm, I think it took about four days to stitch. So it, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, a huge undertaking, but it was really lovely. Really lovely. Okay. I have this one. I just finished this. Here, let me move this. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> Thank you, Bonna. This was a piece that I just made a mistake. I probably, probably 15 years ago, I counted wrong. Here, you can see the seam. I had to go really, really close because I had counted wrong when I uh, started. So I didn't have any extra space here. And then I had a whole oodles of space after here. And once, oh, I made my initial D w a little bit different once i s figured it out that i didn't i didn't do the math right i just lost interest i was mad i was frustrated and i just put it in the drawer and every time i come across that in the drawer i feel guilty i feel like ah i need to restitch that i need to do something i feel bad it doesn't make me happy and then vana in the oh what is it primitive stitcher cross stitch uh, the magazine that comes out once a month oh dang i can't think of the name i don't have it here Anyway, okay, so she did an article about take those old pieces that you have and turn them into a drum. Oh, I have some little lace bobbins here. That's not lace. That's just string that's on there. And then one of you, I can't remember who, I'm so sorry, maybe two years, maybe three years, they tied this little wool piece with a button on a package that they gave me. It was in a little it was on top of a bag, I think. And I just, I just loved it. And I just saved it. I just thought, okay, one day it's going to be the perfect thing. So I covered the top of this with velvet from another friend, which is nice. <laughs> and then this piece with the red was wool. And then I just buttonhole stitched it across and put a little, put a little piece of uh, sorry silk on it. So anyway, isn't that fun that it turned out really good? And and I'm not, I don't feel bad. I don't feel guilty. I'm super happy. I'm super happy. I just put a little piece of cotton on the, uh, cotton fabric on the bottom. So thank you, Vonna. Mwah. Thank you for your tutorials. Thank you for your kind spirit. Uh, you make our world a lovely place to land. So th it's a great community. Everybody shares and um, we are the recipient of some really good things. So anyway, her tutorial is great. I, this is, I think, my fourth drum that I've done. Super easy. She's really easy to understand. And if you have something in your drawer that you get so mad when you look at it, I almost threw it out this last time because I was like, why am I keeping this? Um, and then I turned it into something like that. So anyway, yeah, it's a great idea. It, it makes you feel good. Even if you didn't finish the border or you didn't finish the side, who cares? It looks really good. So 
that's a good way to kind of lift your spirits and make you feel better that you did it. Hey, let's have a giveaway. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this summer, um, two weeks before 4th of July, I got stung by a bee. I'm not allergic to bees. I never had a problem. No big deal. Um, my son is and my mom is. Um, okay, so I got stung. I put some vinegar on it, apple cider vinegar, and I didn't seem to have a problem. Hour later, it got bigger and bigger and bigger, and I was in pain. Yikes. So we did the whole uh, vinegar and baking soda and iodine and magnesium oil and lavender oil. I It lasted about a week. Okay. Then, two weeks later, 4th of July morning, I was out in the garden and I got stung stung by another bee and I had another reaction and actually after about seven days I was able to put my shoe back on I'd been wearing flip-flops not the prettiest but anyway um, so today the things I'm giving away have to do with bees or garden <laughs> okay so the first one is called the magic garden sampler by kitten stitcher uh, Shakespeare's peddler oh sorry sorry I could I should take it out of this Oh, this is one of those ones. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'll put my hand there so you can see it better. Okay, I'm going to give this pattern away. And just leave a comment and use the word garden. So that'll be that one. And then this one is an ink circles pattern. Oh, cheapers, creepers. I forgot. That. I'm out of practice. Okay, ink circles, birds and the bees. Oh, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. Okay, so you have to say B if you want to be in the drawing for that one. And then the last one is really adorable. It is called Gathering Honey by Misty Purcell, Luminous Fiber Arts. Oh, can you see it without me taking it out of the plastic? Yeah. It's so charming. Look at the little bee scap and the birds and the bees. And you just need to say honey. If you say honey, I'll put you in the drawing for that one. Uh, please be 18 so I can, um, so if you win, then I can have your address and we won't get into trouble. Um, and don't say giveaway or prize or whatnot. We, we really wanted to go to a, a cross stitcher, so that's a good thing. So I got three giveaways. That's a good, uh, that makes me happy. And you know I'll tuck extra stuff in there. That'll be good. Okay, those will be good. Okay, so I've got some finishes. I finished those birthday stitches. I finished Liberty House. I finished the drum. Okay, I guess I'm done with that. Works in progress. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about this one. <sighs> okay. I love this one. I love this one. Okay. Here's the pattern. It is called America! Exclamation point, by Calico Confectionery. I love loved it. I just thought it was charming. I started it on the 4th of July. I stitched the letter A last night and I stitched it in red. And the letter A is supposed to be in blue. So tonight I'll unpick the A, put it back in blue. Get gravy. Anyway, beautiful threads. The colors are really good. Um, I darkened it a little bit. The red that's on here was just a little too fire engine red for me. So the one I'm using is Country Barn. Um, I love it. I love the way it's turning out. I mean, I don't love that I stitched the A the wrong color. What the heck did that? <laughs> Alright, I don't know what the heck's going on with that. Okay, I have one that is called Eden Berry, and it's by Erica Michaels. Here's the picture right here. I think my friend Kim gave this to me for my birthday. So I started it. Look how fun that is. It's not very much stitching, so I'm pretty happy. That's kind of neat. And then you just, you, um, in the pattern came a little piece. I think, I think this part is wool. And so then you just stitch the cap and that's kind of neat. I'm excited. I've never done a berry before. I mean, I've made little strawberries out of fabric, but never cross-stitched and did them. So, yeah, that's a nice one. That was that was really thoughtful. Very generous. Very generous. Oh, I have this one. I haven't started this one yet. I was going to do... I heard a lot of people talking about um, 
Christmas in July, and I thought, oh, how fun would this be? The Humble Stitcher, Americana San Santas, and they're really, really small. They end up being on 28 count linen, and I don't know if I have any, so I might have to order some. Uh, but they end up being two and a half by four inches, so they're 36 inches wide, or 36 stitches wide, 56 high. So they're just little. But I thought, oh, that would be charming and fun to do, and then I could have it ready for Christmas time for Mr. Wright's birthday, maybe. And I might, I might put something around the edge. I don't know. Anyway, I really liked it. I thought it was really cute. And 28 count. I think if I put it all together. I'm going to be able to take it with me on vacation. Ooh, we're going to go to the Trinity River in California for a week with some grandbabies and goof off and have fun and eat ice cream. <laughs> so that'll be good. But anyway, I thought 28 count, um, that would be really nice to do in the evening or um, even in the car at 28 count. So that's kind of nice. Okay. Uh, the other thing I have been working on, I started it for my birthday start. This is His Eyes on the Sparrow. Uh, Heartstring Samplery, Beth Twist. We all love her. When you meet her in person, she just has the nicest spirit. She's just so kind. Really kind. Nice. I'm sure she gets mad sometimes too, but I've never seen it. <laughs> okay, so I have been working on this, and you can tell how my brain works. I'm like all over the place working on it. All right, let's go this way. Okay, there we go. I can see you a little bit. I'm um, not quite done with all the flowers on the border. I think I have just, just this little bit here to go. I don't even know if you can see me. <laughs> uh, I have the top going. Yay. It's coming along really well. Although I stitched this, I stitched this chicken because my, my chicken Ginger, she was nine and a half years old. She finally passed away. She had a great life. She laid the best, most beautiful aqua eggs. They're so pretty. So I changed that rooster into a into a chicken that day. And oh, I love ginger. But nine and a half years is a pretty long time to lay eggs. So she had a good life. And there's some really fun, funky cow and deer. Oh, there's that horse. Oh, this horse. I think I took it out three times. Okay, that horse reminds me of the story. Do you want to hear the story? I think I told you once before, but I'll tell you again. Okay, uh, when we lived in Oklahoma, my husband um, won this big uh, military award. And so we went to Oklahoma City to meet the governor. I had to get a substitute teacher because we homeschooled. And in those days, it was a lot stricter. You had to keep rule. Anyway, okay, so I got the, the substitute. And then I was the youngest. Um of all the military wives and so of course they tell you what to wear and how to wear it and do we wear gloves we're meeting the governor before 11 30 or before noon and not afternoon it was a huge story okay whatever um so we went and the you know the big presentation and then after that we were taken to a horse track a horse racing track because my husband was going to present the winner with this gorgeous gorgeous cut silver no cut crystal vase i mean it was huge huge thing i think the uh the um uh, uh retarded citizens of oklahoma they they do all that work it is stunning i mean it was beautiful okay so i'd never been to a horse track before and okay so we get there and we're in the uh, the top part i got to see all each silk for each horse the colors they have matching dishes, and so I got to see all that. It was so exciting. I, um, okay, so then we, we, when it was time for this big race, um, then he had to go, we had to walk down. They, they brought someone to show us how to get there uh, so that he could present this big award. Okay, so we go down there to the winner's circle. You got to cross over these little high heels, dress, windy weather of Oklahoma, all these women, you know, pictures, everyone's taking pictures. Okay, so after the race, I mean, this horse is big. It's way bigger of horse than I'd ever seen, you know, except the Clydesdale, but they're not very fast. Um, okay, so this is a huge horse and the jockey and the, the horse is sweating and it's snorting and I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot going on. Okay, so before they get that big award, before that handshake and here's your big award, they have to go on this 
scale to make sure their horse weighs a certain amount and the jockey weighs a certain amount and his gear and hat and I want to say whip, but I don't know if that's it. Anyway, okay, so they had to get on this scale and I saw the line on the ground where that platform, that was the scale. So, holy Toledo, there's this huge billboard and they flash the weight up there to make sure that it's correct or the correct jockey. Or, I, I don't know the rules. But I was thinking, oh, oh my stars, I am not stepping on Do not step on that. Because if, if I stepped on that, my weight would be flashed up there on the screen and I, I would be so embarrassed. Okay, so it is super windy. Everyone's dresses are flying and oh, all the other wives are holding their dresses down. Not me. I don't care. I have fabulous lingerie. I don't care who sees it. Okay, so but I was just so worried about my feet stepping over that line because I didn't want my weight <laughs> shown up there. Okay, whew. Okay, it's windy. Everyone's holding their dress. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Okay, so then afterwards, you know, like a week later in those days, all the photographs come back and my husband says, in every single picture, why are you looking at the ground? None of them. You're looking up, smiling, all the other wives. I think there was five other wives. They're smiling. All the military men are smiling or not supposed to smile or what have you. The jockey's smiling. The horse is snot and sweaty. And I'm looking at the ground. All you can see is the top of my head. That's it. That's all you can see. My dress is fine. <laughs> and I said, because I didn't want my weight put up there on that big screen and <laughs> he just started laughing so uh, anyway there you go you uh, great lingerie i don't care who sees that i do not want my weight up on this big screen so anyway that's what i was thinking the third time i cross stitched that horse so there you go <laughs> this is a really really beautiful piece to stitch that this dog right here kind of reminds me of marmaduke i don't know remember that cartoon <laughs> and then Sherry, the Colorado cross stitcher, she put it in my mind that Adam looked like he had a fanny pack on. So then that's all I could think of was that Adam's wearing a fanny pack? Okay, so I know it's serious, but I just couldn't stop laughing when I was cross stitching. So anyway, if I didn't have anything else to do, if I didn't have to do laundry or make dinner or garden or plant tomatoes or take eggs to people all i would do was stitch on this it is that fun it's really beautiful the colors are beautiful um even just doing the border is just really um i don't know it's just kind of calming and it's just you know but so i just have a little bit more of the flowers to go on the border and I highly recommend it. It's really, really a lovely stitch. Really fun. And uh, I'm stitching it with Kim, the, um, the stay-at-home quilter. We started for our birthday starts. And so it's really fun. I think Christy Crosshatch Quilting, she's going to start this one. She just finished the the uh, Lily's one. And, oh, man. Those are great. Those are great. Hey, I got some happy mail. Ooh, look. I got this bag. Rachel Treehouse Fiber Arts. It's like, you know that oil cloth plastic so i'm taking this on vacation isn't that cool i, I love that okay let's see oh this is the the kim show I'm, I'm just like telling you look she made me a really cute project bag it's so nice really really good quality i can stop using the ziploc bags why do i use those i have beautiful project bags good gravy speaking of which my friend Catherine, look what she made me isn't that beautiful I've been keeping my eyes on the sparrow in this because, and look, on the back it says Eliza Wilson, 1816. My last name's Wilson. Yay! Knowing Catherine, she made that happen, I tell you. Oh, yeah! And she made me one of these things. I, I've seen everybody on Floss who talk about them, but a little magnet. And then this is, um, it's like fleece. I, it's either fleece or fiber fill. And, um, so while I'm stitching, I just have my scissors are on the table and then extra floss is right here so that if I want to pick back up that color and just stitch a couple stitches, then I don't have to take out a whole thread. Love this. This I've been using every day since I got it. Um, oh, look at this. Look at this little, isn't that charming? I got this for my birthday. Oh my gosh. Look how they finished it. I forgot to ask permission if I could say their name, so I won't say, but just thank you so much. I mean, 
I honestly tried to send out thank you notes right away. I, I um, tried to keep track. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Oh, another Kim thing. <laughs> Look what she made me. She stitched my initials and my birthday on this thread keep. Is that just the prettiest little gift you've ever seen in your life? It's just so feminine. It's it's beautiful. It's useful. It has your my initials. I so thoughtful. Oh yeah. Oh Melly Ellie stitches. She gave me this glory on the silk. Look at that. Oh, we need to pray for her too. Or maybe not. She's getting well. She had, she had some uh, health issues, but I think she's doing better. Hmm. Let's pray for her anyway. That'll be good. We'll just pray that we're happy we're, that she's our friend. That is beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then my friend Cynthia. Oh, Cynthia stitching in the light. She can use our prayers, too. I forgot her on my list. I pray for her every day. Anyway, okay, so she sent me this. Um, the Wic Wicked Stepmother Blue Bayou. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That color is so pretty. Okay, but <laughs> I can't even believe I'm telling you this. I told her, so it's okay. Okay, so I got this, and I was so excited. I was like, oh, I never had the Wicked Stepmother threads before. They felt so nice. I was so happy. And then, I don't remember, but I turned to do something, and I mean, like, 30 seconds. And I came back, and only that part that part right there that little corner was sticking out of Miss Maisie's mouth I had to pull all of this out of her mouth so I had to dry it in the sunshine and <laughs> the tag is all crunched but I'm pretty sure when you get this if you order this thread your tag won't be wet and then dried and then bent and out of the dog's mouth good gravy good gravy Oh yeah, look at this little pin cape. Is the look how sweet that is? And the fabric has got bicycles. Oh, I love riding my bike. I love it. It's so fun. We went on the Fourth of July. It's so fun. I, I put pictures on Instagram so you can see a couple of them. It's just the best. It's like you just like like you're a kid again. It's like the winds in your hair, and you're like totally happy, and you don't have to think about anything, and if you don't ride in a straight line nobody cares it's just really fun so anyway got a little pocket for scissors in the back and okay again i didn't ask if i could my friend cindy sent this to me and like a beautiful bookmarker a pin oh yeah you know what else she sent me was this caramel corn i know it was so good. i divided it between me and mr wright because otherwise i would have eaten the entire bag and then just never said, oh, no, I didn't get anything. I wouldn't have told them that, so I shared. Anyway, this has got, I think this is walnut crystals in this and a real heft to it. But how charming. What a charming little pin keep. Oh, you're all so clever and kind. Thank you. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I know I've been absent a little bit. I've been trying to get that garden in. I, I did take some pictures. I'll... I'll keep sharing pictures. Send me an email or text message and I promise I'll send you some pictures. I, I haven't figured it out yet on here. I really should. I know. I should. Okay, let's talk about what I'm grateful for. Uh, fresh picked blueberries on my oatmeal this morning. I walked outside in my PJs. I picked my blueberries and put them in my cereal bowl. How? You can't get any fresher than that. <laughs> that was good. I was grateful for that. Uh, I'm grateful for my bike helmet. It has pink snakes all over it. When our kids were little, they um, they was learning learning about um, all kinds of mythical things, and uh, Medusa Mom came up with um, all of her antics. And the, one of the boys said, "Hey, that's you. Your hair is like Medusa Mom." And so they would call me Medusa Mom. And one of our sons became a graphic designer. And so one year for my birthday, about 10 years ago, um, he designed and did a whole vinyl thing on my on a helmet for me for my bike with pink snakes and my name on the back. And they're funny and it's got glitter. And so I, I'm grateful for my bike helmet. Oh, I'm grateful for that orange guard. All natural, all, all organic. You can use it in your garden if you have pets or birds or bees. It doesn't bother them at all. So that's a good thing. I am grateful I have enough eggs to share. I, I, uh, I gotta, I gotta 
I'm glad I listened to that little sound in my voice or my back of my um, mind that said you should probably take some eggs over there. So yeah, be aware, pay attention. Maybe somebody in your neighborhood could use, you know, extra eggs or extra fruit or vegetables that you've grown or yeah, that's a good thing. That makes me happy. Ooh, one other thing. This book, grounding book, this earthing book, this is by Clint Ober. This guy is an angel among us. He's brilliant. He is kind and generous and has taught so many people. Um, you know, I go barefoot every day. However, I've taken it up a notch and I bought an earthing mat for my bed, which is underneath the fitted sheet. So you, you can't see it, but it is uh, grounded. So I'm grounded the whole time I'm sleeping. I have a mat that I've made uh, that I that I use when I'm stitching. I put my feet on it, so I'm grounding all the time. Um, I'll be honest, I think I've been using it for about a month, and I think about maybe 50, maybe 70% less pain for, I've had several knee surgeries. Um, I don't have arthritis thumb pain anymore. That's pretty nice. My husband has a little bit of arthritis on one finger. He hasn't felt that. Uh, I'm less congested, so I don't know. I, I just know that I feel 100% better when I'm grounded. And this has helped so much. I'm this, this book, this go on a podcast, read the book. Um, it's fabulous. Really, really. I am so grateful, grateful, grateful. I can sleep through the night better. Um, so anyway, that's my spiel on that. So I'm very grateful. I'm glad that you stopped by. I'm glad you're coming over for uh, Oatmeal Blueberry Bar. Um, I missed you. I missed you. Uh, I, I like doing videos. I do not like the technology. So that's the only part that I'm having. I got to get over it. This has been, I think, three years. I got to spend my time, spend some dedicated time to learning more technology, how to edit, how to add pictures. Um, Anyway, it's been great visiting with you. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, I hope things are going well for you. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. We'll chat soon. Bye-bye.